taxi in Boston. Boston? You take a taxi all the way from Boston? It's no big deal. George, you've got to come back to the West Coast. There's a television pilot in the works, contracts to be signed, interviews. I need a long vacation. Don't be ridiculous. You need the stimulation of the film studios, television series, the whole literary scene. You wouldn't find any of those things in rural New Hampshire. I thought this was supposed to be a town to run in. It is. What rain in it. Looks more like the black hole of Calcutta. When's the last time this place saw a dust cloth? Hey, show a little respect, Zilla. This place used to belong to my aunt. Now it belongs to me. My advice to you, George, is get rid of the dump. Why waste money on taxes? Take the first offer you get for it. Good grief, what's that? It's a portrait of George's Aunt Julia. I thought it was one of Dracula's brides. Maybe I can come up with something for next year. Who cares about next year? I care about next month. Next week! Betty, I bet he's been hard to get along with. He's always difficult and unpredictable when he's not right. True. George, a healthy young man like you doesn't need a vacation. Forget about New Hampshire. Or we're getting married here in New Hampshire. Come back to the West Coast. Get married there. I'll pay for the wedding. I'll pay for the reception. I'll hire a private jet. Zola, you may be the best literary agent in Los Angeles, but you sure don't know how to take no for an answer. That's one of the best. George, come to your senses. Everybody says you're going to be the next Stephen King. Don't throw that away. I haven't had a decent idea for a story in a long time. I've got writer's block. No, I'm staying here. Who are you going to talk to? Mosquitoes? Maybe we could change the name of this place to Honeymoon Hotel. Um, who'd honeymoon in this place? We would. Let me tell you something, George. You can't afford to dry up. You've got to keep a steady supply of horror fiction. The minute you slow down, the public will forgive you. It always happens. Can't you understand? I've got a writer's block. The creative juices are flowing. George, I know your type inside out. You're a compulsive, obsessive writer. You can't stop writing. For you, it's impossible. The press of the button, and you're an automatic pilot. Someone ought to give that button a push. I don't see even have to the it anymore. Incredible. Incredible, but true. Stranger than fiction. Don't be flippant. Mighty fine chowder, Elmira. 